Hello everyone, it's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Well, I think we are in a position now where we've all got our hands on the quad track 715. And I thought, why not, with the amount of hype around this tractor and it coming out, why not build a sim dashboard to complement it? So, here we have it. We have the Case 715 dashboard from Sim Dashboard. So, let's go quickly through some of the information on it so if we go through the six panels one by one i'm going to start up at the top left here we've got a data panel it tells you things like the total mass of the tractor how much fuel you've got left things like speed temperature of the water operating time which is a fun one um we've got also fill level as well if you've got a trailer or something attached uh, a little bit about the weather current weather and future weather and the temperature then if you move to the middle panel at the top there, you've got your cruise control settings and a little bit more data and also a button underneath to allow you to scroll between your implement and the tractor itself. Uh, if you move over to the left hand, sorry, if you move over to the right hand side there, you've got a few implement controls separated out from the other controls, um, although they are repeated elsewhere as well. I like the idea of kind of having more than one place to have stuff sometimes. Um, then if we move down to the bottom, we'll start on the bottom right with a big cluster of buttons there. You've got the start engine, you've got cover, uh, uncover and cover your tarp on your on your auger wagon or tra trailer or whatever you're pulling. Um, you've got the auger wagon pipe out option. You've got tip if you're over a trigger. You've also got force tip if you want to dump onto the ground. You can pull up the mini map from there as well. Uh, you can raise and lower the implement. You can power on an implement if it needs PTO power. And you can also switch from your external to your internal camera if you're in the tractor. Looking at the centre console there in the bottom, you have got uh, a, a various bits of information and readouts. So you've got your uh, water temperature there, you've got your RPMs and your fuel in a bar type uh, graph scenario. And then you've got these basically alerts which change uh, colour when you've got an implement attached or raised, folded. Or powered off and you'll see that working in a minute when we go to the live version of this and then over on the bottom left there you've got your light options and a couple of other ones uh, hazards as well beacons and also the fact that you can open and close the hood on the tractor here so we'll jump to that along the bottom by popular request I have gone for vehicle control add-on rather than GPS or um, guidance steering by Wopster um, and then other than that, a bit more information along the top bar there, you've got our, our heading, so you can see northwest 315 degrees there, you've got the time, X and Y coordinates, and you've also got a couple of zoom in, zoom out uh, buttons on the top right there. So, now we've had a quick overview of it, let me show you it in action with the almighty Quadtrack 715. So there's our little screen down in the corner. I'll do, demo a few things now before we uh, go too far. I'll need to jump in for starters, so let's do that. So we're in the tractor now. As you can see, um, a few things have turned on. The engine was running, um, so I press that button there and I can turn the engine off and I can turn it on again. And again, you'll see the RPM jump up here uh, and you'll see the RPM uh, over here as well. So if I um, power on the engine, there you go. You can see everything start up there. Let's cover off some of the lights as well. Let's put the headlights on. There we go. Uh, let's put the beacons on. Now the beacons here are quite discreet, so you can see them just flashing there on and off. Um, the top of the cab and the implement behind as well. Turn those back off. Turn your hazard lights on as well. See those flashing. Um, and then you've got your rear auxiliary work lights at the back there, and a few at the front. And then again, if you look at the top of the tractor, above the cab there you have got your front lights as well now let me turn all of those off um, you then have the option to open the hood of the tractor there we go and you can see the icon changes there as well as you do that close that back down again now we're going to reverse up and hook onto our implement now so we'll reverse up here there we go so we can connect. Now you can see that it's switched to attached here. I'm going to press Q again, and you can see that changes to detached. So that is now attached. Um, and we can unfold this, so you can do that up here by pressing that button, and you can see it starts to unfold itself. And when it's done, that will change 
to red and also in the middle console at the bottom you'll see the state changes there as well um, we can lower it down by pressing that button as well and there we go it drops into the ground again you see this state here now tells you it's lowered as well um, so we're all good to go I think engine running um, just show you this one so we can jump between tractor and implement if you've got specific things you need to do on your implement now this doesn't have a PTO this is just a pull behind so we'll jump into another um, piece of equipment in a little while and just show you with a PTO powered piece of equipment but um, for now all you need to do is press the middle of your rev counter here it turns to pink and uh, everything goes so you can see the RPMs went right up there we've got another RPM measured just there on the implement uh, the water temperature will kick in in a minute as the water heats up so uh, we'll keep an eye on that um, and anything else really I mean we can look at there's a water temperature going up now you can see that um, we could switch on VCA here so I'll pull behind here and I will tap the VCA button there we go so that's switched on so all our controls for VCA are here we can nudge it a little bit we can jump an entire row like so and just wait, wait for that to finish we can rotate it slightly if it's not fully straight and we can turn now I think I've got skip rows on here so this could be fun I'll end up hitting a, a pylon or something but there we go skip rows oh we're going to make it just before the power line that's good and there we go so all of your uh, vehicle control add-on functions for the GPS part of it anyway sitting here you can set width there as well so well, there you go, right, I'm going to power it off now. Bring it to a stop. We're going to tab to another tractor just so we can demonstrate um, with the PTO and see a few more of the buttons in action. Right, we just so happen to have a Borgo 100-foot drill here sitting waiting for us. Now, what's popped up here that wasn't on the other tractor is the soybeans, 84% uh, still left in the tank for that. You can also see, let's fire up the engine, you can also see now we've got PTO power required. Uh, for this or, or certainly power hydraulic power so you can either turn it on here or you can turn it on down here if i press this one down here you'll see the other ones go on you'll see the rev counter go up you'll see it's telling us that it's running now here as well so let's jump into the cab because we can there we go let's turn vca on lined us up here and we will head off everything's lowered everything's running i'll turn around here you can see behind we're looking good now again, just for a couple of other things, um, scrolling through the minimap here, you can see it going through its different formats in the corner there. It's all looking good. Um, and again, if we stop this for a second, we can raise the toolbar from a number of different locations. So you can actually tap this dial. There we go. Pressed it too quickly there, but that raises the implement or lowers it. And you can see the visual reference there, the highlight of that button as well. But you also got the option to do it down here as well if you want to do it that way as well. Go back out of the cab here. Just fire things up using cruise control. You can adjust the speed of your cruise control here with the plus and minus as well. So bear in mind you've got those. Um, but there you go. What a setup. How good does that look? Right, one last quick little demo as well. We've got an auger wagon attached now. So we can uncover the tarp by pressing that button we can pop the auger pipe out as well like so um, if we had a trigger here we would be able to uh, unload um, obviously we can't do that because there's no sell point there but we can force unload still so I can unload an entire load onto the ground if I wanted we don't want to waste it too much though so I'll turn that off now you'll see these don't highlight there is a limitation of the program here that they don't highlight it doesn't recognize when it's switched on or switched off with certain functions so um, that is a limitation of the program I'd love in the future if that changed and we could um, we could have those uh, different trigger settings but at the moment it is what it is uh, and I think it doesn't really detract from the brilliance of a sim dashboard and what it does so um, there you go um, there's not really much more to show let me just show you you can zoom in and zoom out using those buttons as well and you can pull up your menu here as well if you want to so there's that option available to you as well um, other than that 
it's yours it's out there already on the sim dashboard site i've put a link in the description below go grab it use it with the new 715 hope you enjoy it i had great fun making it and uh, i just think it's a great compliment to what is a really really phenomenal mod from custom modding and carl farm so on that note nice and short this one but go enjoy it and i'll see you again very soon take care bye for now